Riyadh, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for giving us some of your time. And uh, wanted to start off by asking some questions that we frequently get. And maybe the most frequent question um, that we field is about the makeup of the BioPCM platform. So Riyadh, could you give us a brief description of what BioPCM is and, and what the makeup of the BioPCM uh, material is? The BioPCM platform consists of the use of uh, sustainable materials, the re uh, repurposing of other materials such as uh, waste from the petrochemical industry, uh, a byproducts from uh, many industrial processes such as uh, sugars and sweeteners, electrolytes and so on. So in general, the platform uh, can uh, include a wide range of ingredients from either virgin materials that such as uh, vegetable oils or their derivatives or byproducts from them, but also the, uh, as we all know, uh, there are a lot of wastes can, that are generated from the petrochemical industries. So the platform can take this waste, functionalize it again in a form where carbon hydrogen chains can be rearranged to be able to manufacture and engineer new forms of materials that serve certain functions and purposes, such as temperature control uh, for climate uh, control of buildings or shipment and transportation of pharmaceuticals and so on. But in general, I mean, when you talk about what the BioBCM platform, the BioBCM is a class of material that can be provided or if engineered uh, to cover temperature controls, applica control applications ranging from minus 75 degrees Celsius to plus 175 degrees C. Oh, thank you for that, Riyadh. That's, um, um, you know, amazing to think that you have these natural occurring uh, materials in the BioPCM, materials from food production waste streams, but even the potential to to take um, um, you, you know other waste streams um, that, that maybe typically wouldn't be considered there. You know, there's several options for companies out there that are looking to to use phase change materials to make phase change materials part of their their solution. Um, you described a little bit about what makes BioPCM different. Um, can you talk a little bit more about what makes it a better option than salt hydrates, paraffins, and and some of the other PCM platforms in the world today? So since we, uh, the, the emphasis these days for every organization is decarbonization. So by default, choosing materials or uh, solutions that are based on sustainable materials is always a good choice. So the fact that BioBCMs can be derived from uh, uh, either uh, vegetable oils or byproduct from the vegetable oil industry allow us to uh, engineer materials that can meet our requirements for temperature control without having to take anything from the uh, petroleum-based industry. And this is why BioBCMs have been designed from the beginning, not only to be uh, uh, plant-based, but also to not to use anything from the food industry by only utilizing byproducts from the food industry so we can use uh, uh, environmental and human friendly resources to make these materials. And when you design phase change materials in general, so there are a few criteria that you have to keep in mind. One of them, of course, is the energy density, in addition, of course, to the first criteria, which is the sustainability uh, uh, point. The high energy density is important, important. The tunability is another factor. The fact that we can design BioBCMs at any temperature from minus 75 degrees to plus 175 degrees, all coming from sustainable resources, makes the BioBCM Bio technology platform extremely uh, robust and uh, uh, with so many applications across the board from, from cold chain to buildings to waste heat management and so on. Great. Thank you for that, Riyadh. Um, I definitely agree. You know, the, the tunability of the BioPCMs is something that, you know, both here inside PCS today, but in my past was a, a key attribute um, uh, of the BioPCM. 